Hello. Today we're going to into chapters 13, 14, and 15 of the book of Genesis. And uh, these again are stories that we know very well. And it's nice to be able to put them into some kind of a context. Uh, it starts off with Abraham and Lot have become extremely successful. God has blessed both of them. They have lots and lots of sheep and herds and there are lots and lots of servants and the servants of Lot and the servants of Abraham aren't getting along. They're fighting over uh, pasture land. They're fighting over wells and that type of thing. So Abraham and Lot decide to divide up the land and, and Lot go in one direction. Abraham goes in the other. God, uh, God. Abraham gives Lot the choice. And so what Lot does is Lot says, I think I'll go down to Sodom. So he's going down to live uh, in and near the cities, and Abraham stays in the land of Canaan and, uh, and lives out in the countryside. And so that's pretty much uh, what we see in chapter 13. Chapter 14, there's an ongoing battle between a, a number of kings, I won't try to describe their names right now, enjoy reading them, uh, and a number of other kings. And the king of Sodom loses in the battle. And so these other kings, they take all of the possessions of Sodom and Gomorrah, and, they, and one of those is uh, Lot, his family, and his possessions, and they haul them off. Abraham hears about this. He gets his uh, people together in uh, uh, chapter 14, and he goes after them to get them. And uh, uh, he defeats them. He brings them back, and on his way back, he runs into a character called the uh, the prince of Salem, or the priest of Salem, excuse me, uh, and that word Salem is Shalom, that word uh, Salem, or the name of this character is Melchizedek, and we know who Melchizedek is from Hebrews, because we know Jesus is a priest after the order of Melchizedek, and so anyway, Abraham gives him a tenth of what he has, he determines that he will not take anything of the spoils, and uh, that pretty much ends that. Then we get to chapter 15. Now, chapter 15 is an amplification and a repeat of chapter 12. This is where God is clarifying one more time his covenant with Abraham. There's an interesting part towards the beginning where God says to Abraham, he says, Abraham, I am your, your shield and your very great reward. Now, wouldn't that be cool for God Almighty to say to us, he's our shield, he protects us, and he is our very great reward. Abraham, though, answers that question, I mean, that statement almost exactly like many of us do. And he says, yeah, but what you going to give me? In other words, see, we have trouble sometimes thinking in terms of a spiritual gift we have from God that can have physical ramifications. But if it's just couched in, in spiritual terms, we kind of want to know, well, what about the physical stuff? What, what are you going to actually give me? And you see how that, that goes on. That's a time when God cuts covenant with Abraham and hold on to that word cut and then it carries through the rest of the chapter and so that's where Abraham has now uh, uh, he's starting to come into his own he's developed uh, quite a bit of wealth he's developed some some uh, numerical strength because he's defeated these kings he's got a reputation now and God is continuing to say to him Abraham I'm going to make a great nation out of you that's these three chapters I hope you enjoy them we're going to have a lot more following as we go through Abraham's life. Have a great day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.